I definitely love the Philippines. The people that are really great. I love the Filipinos. Uh, I think Filipinos are the funniest people in the world. I love everything about them. <laughs> Filipinos are so friendly and so loving. If there's anything I've learned from the Filipino people, it's uh, friendliness. The culture is great. The Filipinos are the best, I think, in the world. The Filipinos and their culture, I, I love the, the culture in the Philippines. The, the first thing everyone says, and it's true, is that they are a happy people. They smile. Even though they have a, there are a lot of people with a lot of problems, they know how to smile. They know how to laugh. They know how to um, keep pushing on through without, you know, just complaining. And that's something you learn quick as a missionary and you learn from their example is, you know, you're thinking, oh, you know, it's hot. This is hard. I don't know the language. And you learn that you can do hard things and still be happy and still enjoy yourself. That's something I love about the Filipinos is their ability to laugh and to smile. It's unlike any, any other people I know, they can just smile no matter what situation they're in. Another thing I love is they're very just a very welcoming people. Um, they treat you, you know, you could, something that's nice about the Philippines is you don't have to attract in the sense where you go knock on doors and say, hi, I'm Elder Peck, I'm a missionary from the church. You just walk on the streets and you can just talk to people. You can say, how's your day? How's your family? And just start conversations with someone you don't know. And it seems like after a minute, you can feel like you've been friends for a long time. They just are very open um, you can ask them things, you know, that people would think you're crazy in America. You can know someone for a minute and ask how many kids they have and what their kids are doing and where they live and who their mom is and who their dad is and what they like and or what, what they do in life. You know, you can get to know someone um, very quickly and it's awesome. You know, here in America, sometimes I wish that we were more open to just saying, hey, what's up? Who are you? Where are you from? What do you like to do? Um, unfortunately, we, we don't do that quite as much here, but in the Philippines, you really can talk with anyone. And I love that. They're just a welcoming people. I also love just the faith of the Filipino people. Um, how they're able to, kind of like I said, get through hard times and do hard things knowing that they will make it and believing in God, believing in his hand to be there to help them. Um, and they have the faith to make that happen. It's a country where you can promise someone that if they do something, they'll get the, their, those blessings and they will get those blessings because they'll do it. They'll have the faith. They'll um, make big sacrifices. That's something else is <laughs> about the Philippines. They'll, They'll sacrifice so much for you. They want to make you feel at home. So when you're visiting members or even people you don't know who just recognize you as someone visiting and a servant of God, they'll, you know, they'll give you the food they had for their family and they'll put it in front of you and make you eat. <laughs> they, they won't give you the choice. They'll, they want you to feel at home. They want you to feel comfortable. And it's incredible to see how much they are willing to give up to, for for us as missionaries and for other people. Um, they have charity in that sense, unlike really anyone else that I've known. So I really love that the Filipinos are so giving. I definitely love the Philippines. The people that are really great, even though the culture is like completely opposite from America. Um, I really love it. Their lifestyle is so simple. Um, they, just, they just have a simple life. They're always happy doesn't matter what they have or they don't have. They're just willing to share with people. They're very kind. Um, they're really easy to talk to. Usually you can talk to them even if they don't want to listen to you. They'll, they'll still talk to you at least for a little bit. Um, and basically everyone has a belief in Christ, um, different religions, different beliefs. Um, but it's great to be able to just open up any conversation. You can just talk about Christ. They have like Christ on their like jeepneys and on their tricycles. Everyone's very religious, um, which makes missionary work sometimes a little easier, sometimes not because sometimes they're very firmly embedded in their beliefs. Um, but they're very kind people. They'll ver they're willing to share with the missionaries their food. Um, they'll help you like with language. You can ask them how to cook stuff. They'll tell you. Um, they're very nice, humble people. 
Filipinos are so friendly and so loving. Like, they are so kind and so welcoming. It was such a different culture um, than I was used to here in America. And it surprised me at first how willing people were to talk to us and to let us into their homes and to feed us. They're so polite. If you go into their house and they're eating, they will offer you whatever they're eating just because that's the nature of their culture. They're also very sensitive and can sometimes be easily offended but they always do everything to try to like save face so they won't let you know that they're offended and they'll kind of like close off from you and that's that's just kind of their culture so you have to learn to be sensitive to that um, and just love them despite that difference because I feel like here in America we're very straightforward we're very direct and sometimes if you're like that with the Filipinos they get offended because they're not used to that directness in their culture because they are so polite and so formal with each other. But I love Filipinos. They are so funny. They have this, this really funny, sassy sense of humor that um, it takes a little bit to uh, understand and to like find that their jokes are funny. But after you start to understand it, they are hilarious and they'll make you laugh. And they love making people laugh. So... <laughs> It's great. Uh, I think Filipinos are the funniest people in the world. They And that's just part of their culture. They love to joke and laugh. And that was a huge blessing on my mission to have that, you know, just to always be able to joke and laugh. And, um, and, they, and they are always partying, you know. They, even late into the night, they're on their karaoke. They love karaoke. <laughs> And so that's always so funny to hear, even if it's like really off tune, and, you know, it's still really fun. It keeps spirits li um, light. Um, let me see. Oh, funny things that are like funny to Americans that I had to get used to when this is just a Filipino thing. When when they don't hear what you say, instead of saying what they they open their mouth just like just like that and and so like <laughs> when it first happened when I first got to the mission um, I'd say something like uh, and they'd be like and then it, if they didn't hear it they'd do it again like and just like keep getting wider and wider <laughs> and, and it, I was, when it happened I was just like oh, what, <laughs> what's going on and it took a while to get used to it until I realized they're like saying, what did you say? You know, that's just their thing. Another thing, they use so many gestures. Um, their eyebrows up means, means yes. Just be like, and so I thought people were mad at me when they were doing that. I'd be like, do you, do you want to come to church on Sunday? They'd be like, and I'd be like, Excuse me. <laughs> it just like seems kind of smirk, but but that means they're like saying yes, like yep, yep. <laughs> um, and then I'm sure you've heard of the pointing with the lips, you know, over there, and and that's really funny too. You'd be like, "Where's the bathroom?" Like, and I didn't think they heard me, and so I'd like repeat myself all the time. Um, <laughs> Let me see. They, they, oh, they all do like this Filipino squat uh, everywhere, just like to chill. They, they just squat on the ground, and and that's really funny to see like a ninety-year-old man doing it, and then like a three-year-old sitting right next to him doing it. I love it, and I, I actually still do that <laughs> today. They. Oh, um, they, what, what was I going to say? Oh, some of the food is kind of funny to me. For one birthday party, there's, there was like, like hot dogs on a stick, but there was like marshmallows in between the hot dogs. <laughs> that was funny. They, I think s sweet spaghetti is really funny too, you know, that, they're just putting their own twist on it. They hate to get wet in the rain. They 
uh, that's like the worst thing that could happen. And so when it's raining, everyone's like ducking with their newspapers or like anything that they can grab, like banana leaves. And everyone's like ducking. And, and we probably looked crazy because we we're just out there getting wet. And, and yeah, we were probably the funny ones to them. Um, and oh, when they, <laughs> when there's two people talking, talking to each other and somebody has to pass between them, they get down, they like crunch really, really low so that they can go by and they'll say, scoos, scoos, because they're just so polite, you know? And I, I always thought that was really funny because I'd be like talking to somebody and then I'll be like, oh, 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 <laughs> they would go right by me, ducking so far down. Also, this is the last one. They, there's this word in, in the Philippines um, that we don't have in America, or we don't, there's not an English equivalent, and it's kilig. And kilig is the feeling that you get when it's something so cute, you know, and something's just like, I don't know, when something's romantic and you just can't take it, and they'd be like, eee! And so, so anytime there's anything like romantic, like, um, like even like in a testimony meeting, somebody was like, my mission president, he was talking he was like, uh, I met my wife back in college and I loved her from the moment I saw her. And everyone's like, <laughs> just like no matter what, they can't control it. It's uh, they get so kilig and they just like, crunch up and like ee! so yeah <laughs> i wish we had a word for that in english because we we feel it too you know <laughs> you see something on tv you keelig yeah <laughs> oh, i love the filipinos they are the sweetest most kind people they're so welcoming so receptive um they're always willing to help other people around them and they're always giving you food always giving you food every house you go to there's some sort of snack or full-on meal if they can <laughs> they just they love to help other people they're so generous even though they have so little they because they have so little when they have they give what they have they give to other people and um they're just so concerned about you and they're so cute they're so shy they are terrified to speak english and mess up <laughs> but um they they're so friendly, especially to Americans. They love Americans. They love the white skin, the different hair colors. They're fascinated by freckles. Um, I don't know how much now, like, because Americans have been there for a while, but <laughs> they're just, they're so cute and friendly. I love them. They're so amazing. Definitely, like, one of the best parts of the mission is getting to know the people and the culture there and really embracing the culture that's there. Because I feel like sometimes it's easy to just want to, like, no, I have my culture, you have yours, and try to keep yourself separate. But I personally loved that my trainer was like, no, you need to really try to adapt to our culture and, like, try to take on our culture. And I think that helped me a lot because I understood my investigators at a deeper level and I was able to help them. Um, more because I was willing to really understand and live the way that they lived. If there's anything I've learned from the Filipino people, it's uh, friendliness. They're really friendly. Um, really friendly. Sometimes overly friendly. Uh, like you're walking down the street, um, anybody will be eating. Like if you see someone eating while you're walking down the street, they'll call out to you, Kaunta, Kaunta. Yeah, they want you to come eat with them. Like, um, you can just be polite. Hey, that's okay, but but they're very friendly. Um, everyone says hi. Everyone greets you. They're smiling all the time. So yeah, just um, learn how to be friendly, because the Filipino people are friendly. I love everything about them. <laughs> um, I don't know, they the people are probably my favorite just because like going in, kind of like I said earlier, I was like really scared and like I didn't know the language I was going to speaking, I didn't know anybody there, um, but they just, 
they accept you so quickly and I I feel like I learned a lot about loving people from them um, that they didn't care where you came from they didn't care why you were there but they loved you anyways um, and they'd share anything with you even though they were a lot of times um, short for themselves and them, their family but they would give anything that they could um, just because of who they were and that was probably my favorite um, like thing about the Philippines but I mean it's a beautiful country even though I didn't serve in like the tropical like beaches or anything like that like it was so beautiful and it it really like opened my eyes to um, like the world that God created for us it's so diverse um, and it's so beautiful I like saw animals I'd never seen before and like, eaten food I never eaten before and and like just like experiencing something completely different was really um, a good experience and it was um, very life-changing I guess too and I mean and even just like the little things like the way they get around like transportation is so much different it's like mostly public um, people like I said don't really own their own cars and so like they take buses and jeepneys that are kind of like old military like jeeps and they just open the back out and you just kind of squish yourselves in and and you know and they have people like taxi so like little bike and you hop on and then take you around so everything was just so different um the language was great too like i'd never even heard of it and it's such a unique sound but it's like so beautiful to me now because like i got the opportunity to learn it and to um live like that for a year and a half that it was a really um unique experience but it was so great in every aspect too the culture is great. The Filipinos are the best, I think, in the world. Um, they have, because they're a third world country, they're very humble and very nice. And um, because they're also humble and they live in such humble circumstances, they're willing to share the world with you. And um, even though the world may not seem like a lot to somebody coming from out of their country, it's a lot to them. Um, one of the, th the cultural things is Filipinos will never eat the last thing on the plate. Like if you have a, uh, some food out, they'll never eat the last rice. They'll always leave it for somebody else because they're caring and they're thinking of others. Um, same thing if you come into their home and you look thirsty, even if they don't have like juice or something, they'll go out and buy some juice with like whatever they have and share it with you. They're just, they're the nicest people. They're, um, they're an Asian country, so of course they have a lot of respect to their elders and they've got a lot of that Asian culture, but they're also third world, so they're very, very humble and very respectful in all they do. Um, they're just the nicest people ever. You you don't really get your door slammed in your face ever because they're so nice. You will have people turn you down, and especially in the city, it gets a little bit more, um, people are a little bit more busy, so they're a little bit more edgy and they're a little bit more... Uh, harder to get into the home but with Filipinos you almost always get a first appointment like when you knock doors you almost always be able to walk in their door the problem is, is the second and third time they are so concerned about your feelings and how you feel they don't want to turn you down so they'll either just hide or avoid you and try to like not make contact rather than tell you up front like hey we're not interested in the gospel right now they'll just be like oh you know that's, that's cool but i gotta go to my grandma's or whatever and they'll make excuses and they'll be very polite so sometimes you have to kind of uh, feel that out and kind of feel where they are and, and just kind of understand where they're coming from because they're they're too nice to say no basically they're just really happy that can be a really good thing for missionary work because sometimes like they're just so like easy going that when you set appointments you can go and you can have those appointments and they're great but sometimes that becomes a bad thing because then they commit like if you ask them like oh will you read the book of mormon they'll be like yes of course i'll read the book of mormon you're the best i'll read everything and then you come back the next day and you're like so did you read and they're like oh i totally didn't and they're just committing basically to help please you and to help you feel better about yourself not because they're actually committed to doing anything which is very nice and very polite but also kind of um, makes it a little bit harder to read them and understand where they're coming from and their point of view. So it's they're really nice, really good people, but sometimes you just got to work with them and kind of be f just straight and be like, hey, look, we don't like your person, you got feelings, how do you feel about this? And they'll be honest, they're really nice. Like I said, they'll, I've literally seen Filipinos like stop what they're doing and come help the missionaries. Um, a lot of times you'll get people who don't even know you uh, out in the countryside and you'll be riding, you'll be walking down a long country lane trying to get to your next appointment. Somebody will pull over and elders jump in and you're like, all right. So you get on their little 
farm tractor or whatever it is they're driving at the time and uh you ask them like so are you a member like how did you know we're elders and like nah the the elders just taught me once back like four years ago and they were really nice so i saw you guys walking i thought oh it's too hot to walk so and like they're just super nice that way so super super um hospitable in all ways possible i would have to say they're they're very cheerful uh, for the most part, and they're very resilient, uh, very adaptive. They live a very hard lifestyle. Um, half the time, they never know where their next meal is coming from, or are they going to get a next meal? Uh, you'll get hurricanes coming through. We had two in a period of two weeks at one point, caused massive flooding, uh, destroyed homes. Um, I don't know about casualties. Uh, I didn't get to hear on that, but I mean, it, they live in a very dangerous place. Uh, if, if the weather doesn't get them, illnesses will. If that doesn't get them, then there's the uh, the militant factions that come out out of the mountains and kill people just you know because um, there's it, it's a very difficult place to live um, life is incredibly hard and yet they are very cheerful they're very optimistic they're very happy um, they they look for the the sunny side of things quite a bit I was amazed at how resilient they were um, you'd see the children playing and they were just as happy as can be playing with bottle caps they'd find games to play with bottle caps uh, something that we would throw away without even thinking about it they would play with for hours they had a blast with them uh, they would play with a, a, a matchbox they would divide it into spaces and and save spiders and put them in they would play with spiders and let them crawl in their hand they would try and get them to bite their fingers um, yeah not my favorite thing but uh, you know it, it was amazing what they could do to find enjoyment in life uh, they didn't have to have fancy things um, not that they would have turned them down if they had the option, I imagine, but they didn't need them. Um, and they just, they were a very feeling and a very believing people. Um, they're very religious. Uh, it's a predominantly Christian nation, um, but they are very, they're very big on, on living their religion, um, at least according to their understanding. Um, they feel things very deeply. They're very deeply feeling people. And so it's really actually quite easy to help them feel the spirit um, because they look for it. That's that's kind of how they live their lives according to the way they feel and the impressions they get and things like that. It's, it's not a very secular society in that regard where um, they live by logic. It's, it's more along the lines of, does it feel right? Does it feel good? Does it, you know, does it ring true? And so for, in that respect, we had a lot of success um, as missionaries in, in bringing people to, um, um, begin a testimony um, and they were they're the most caring and giving people I've, I've ever met uh, to strangers you'll be walking past somebody's house and they'll invite you in for dinner just because you walked by um, they'll give you the shirt off their back they'll they'll help you they'll do anything they can to help you they're incredibly kind and just very giving um, there were many times where we would be walking by and they would invite us in for dinner. Um, sometimes we would accept, sometimes we couldn't because we were on our way to someplace else. But uh, by and large, they were very, very kind and they would watch out for us. They would they would warn us. They would do anything they could to help us. Um, as I said, they, they believed that we were doing God's work. Uh, even if we didn't belong to their church, they believed that we were serving Him and that deserved respect. And so they were very respectful towards us and uh, they were just incredibly kind. I, I don't think you could meet... Uh, a kinder bunch, at least in my mission area. Um, I'd have to say, you know, by and large, you know, at least in that area, it was, that was their defining characteristic. Bokolid is known as the city of smiles because the people are incredibly friendly and kind.